ओके सो लेट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट एन आई सी नेशनल इन्फॉर्मेटिक सेंटर मैनी ऑफ यू हैव गॉट इंटरव्यू कॉल्स फॉर दिस एन आई सी यू नो द बेस्ट वे टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी इंटरव्यू एनी इंटरव्यू इज डायरेक्टली गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग बट दैट इज ओनली हाफ ऑफ द स्टोरी वेन यू गो टू द वेबसाइट गो विद पेन एंड कॉपी कॉपी एंड पेन इन योर हैंड एंड गो टू द वेबसाइट and start writing the most important thing many students what i have seen is they even if they are visiting website they are going to the website without pen and copy and they are not writing anything let me tell you what is the meaning of that national informatic center you have got the interview call now this is the website just uh, skim through just see what is going on what is the current things going on on the website and you will start observing certain things you know some information related to government point some policies some programs you will start getting that <coughs> like there is something which is covid 19 tracker as a computer engineer are you aware what is the meaning of that e granthalaya granthalaya you know maybe the collection of the books so what is the meaning of that so those things will keep on popping up what is new if you see what is new in the website you will find some kind of schemes student credit card scheme collateral security free loan up to 10 lakh rupees that means you can get loan up to 10 lakh rupees for which you need not to give any collateral are you aware what is student credit card scheme and this is actually uh, provided by nic so just write in your copy the moment you will write it student credit card scheme collateral free loan up to 10 lakh rupees the moment you write it that will make imprint in your mind okay now this may not be important this may not be important because this is very very specific to particular states not important keep moving forward now we come to very very important thing here blockchain technology blockchain technology sir what should we prepare for the interview as computer engineer you should know what is blockchain technology now maybe nic is not going to give you in detail what is blockchain technology what is cryptocurrency what is blockchain technology etc you have to write it in the copy and then go to some other source of information and then write what is blockchain technology couple of lines related to that are you aware what is blockchain technology how can we use blockchain technology to make election free and fair india is the largest democracy and you know this electronic voting machine is india's idea india's innovation electronic voting machine blockchain technology of late people have uh, opposition parties have blamed that uh, there is some kind of you know uh, this kind of disruption happening happening in uh, electronic voting machines so how blockchain technology can be used to make it fool proof uh, electronic voting machines and all and make the elections free and fair in india largest democratic uh, country in the world so blockchain technology detail information about that center of excellence for blockchain technology go in detail of that the moment you go further you will find many things here right e governance artificial intelligence in e governance so can you tell me what can be the role of artificial intelligence in e governance you know what is the meaning of e governance you know what is the meaning of good governance how can e governance lead to good governance okay how can artificial intelligence help in e governance and how e governance can lead to good governance so tell me the role of artificial intelligence in e governance <coughs> artificial intelligence in the public service what how it can lead to that particular thing any schemes related to the welfare of so center of excellence for blockchain technology center of excellence for artificial intelligence so can you name some of the center of excellence under nic center of excellence for data analytics now what is the role of data analytics for the benefit of people welfare schemes you know census collection of the data these things help government to identify the beneficiary to whom the service should be provided how to provide the service at the grassroots level so collection of the data is very important data analytics new technologies like artificial intelligence and uh, blockchain technology are very very important to basically provide the service at the grassroots level and proper utilization of the sources center of excellence for data analytics core services 
N I C N E T. What is the meaning of this data center? Keep going in detail about that. What is May Garage? National Cloud. Do you know anything about National Cloud? Handled by National Informatics Center. What do you mean by May Garage? What is the name of that? National Jo Cloud Banaya Uska Nam Kai. So that is May Garage. So what is the meaning of national cloud? What is the benefit of that? They have explained that in detail. Messaging is the backbone of communication, government communication. What is the role of communication in good governance? And how can NIC uh, facilitate this communication? How that communication can lead to the development, economic development? Or better delivery of the services by government? How can technology information technology help information technology or use of new technology like you know data science artificial intelligence blockchain how these technologies can help government deliver better or can promote good governance as i told you technology e governance good governance that is how it is to be done so technology actually facilitate the optimum utilization of the resources right person right aapka service mil jaye that is what this e-governance is all about keep moving forward remote sensing and gis geoinformatic system location based e-delivery of the service remote sensing so tell me something about remote sensing and gis what is the role of this technology in providing good service to the people take a copy keep writing role of remote sensing and GIS what is remote sensing and what is GIS how do you go for remote sensing is there any satellite yes communication it's a remote sensing satellites by ISRO there are two kind of satellites communication satellite remote sensing satellite remote sensing satellites are the eyes of eyes in the sky for any nation identification of the resources and you know everything uh, surveillance and all so remote sensing and GIS se kaise benefit hoga service delivery ke liye e-delivery how it is going to facilitate that webcast what do you mean by webcast national knowledge network command control center just keep skimming through government LAN, LAN, local area network little idea about this IOT information you know this cyber security cyber security is a very big uh, topic of debate nowadays cyber security and breach of that as computer scientist as electronic engineer what do you mean by cyber security and what is the benefit of that what is the disadvantage of that this technology cyber security what do you say about that entire cyber security application network NIC CERT securing securing the critical government cyber infrastructure what role NIC can play in securing the critical government infrastructure breach of information there can be very critical information with government how to prevent the breach of that cyber security what contribution can you give in cyber security so what are the various products and platforms Bhu Naksha, public distribution systems, e-counseling, what do you mean by that? What is e-counseling? So, what, do you, what, what is the meaning of that? And then some kind of videos and all. And you know, Digital India mission. For this government, it was the main mission. Digital India mission. And all the schemes which come here, that is what you have to see. Now let me go to other parts. When you go to the website, you will get details about what is actually National Informatic Center, organizational chart. So all details will come. Whatever you need to know about National Informatic Center, that thing will come here. Similarly, if you see the NIC offices, the entire hierarchy will come. Data centers, district level, headquarter. So from headquarter to district center, everything will be visible here. New Delhi is the headquarter and it comes under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. 
the details will come and till district level every information will be there please visit the site take copy and pen and keep writing these important things and i've told you already some of the catch points what do you know about nic okay what is your view on cyber security do you know what is blockchain technology cryptocurrency any idea about that what is cryptocurrencies can you name some cryptocurrencies should government basically control it or can government control it how uh, blockchain technology can be used to make elections free and fair okay uh, what do you mean by e megraj what do you mean by uh, you know data analytics so how data analysis can be used for the benefit of uh, governance uh, what do you mean by good governance all these questions go to the website keep writing it and believe me if you do that it will really good the moment you are ready come for hr with me come for hr with urpedia and we ask you the question let's see how the flow is maintained thank you